Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I am bringing you every single build that you're going to need for PvP and PvE and patch 10.1 for Mistweaver. I will have a description of when I use it and what stats I use, and they're also in the description, so you can just copy and paste it in. So with that said, let's jump right into it. I'm very excited. Mistweaver is all pretty good so far this season, so I'm going to start off with my threes build. So in threes, I use Verse Mastery, and this is my build. I will also give you some flex talents for each build because, you know, you can kind of make it your own, which is really nice about this expansion. So this is what I run in threes pretty much every single game. Don't really change much. If you want to change something, you can absolutely drop these two talents. Feel free. I think Men in Proliferation, after testing it in in threes and twos, I think Men in Proliferation is really, really good. So you can drop Jade Bond and Tia Serenity and kind of put it wherever you want. You can put it in Shailun's Gift, which is really good, and Shadow House Lessons. So that's a pretty solid one. If you don't want that, you can put a second one into Rapid Diffusion, and then you have one point that can literally go anywhere you want. I don't know where you'd put it. Maybe you put it in TF Serenity or you put it in Jade Bond, but <clears throat> this is what I run pretty much every single every every single threes and twos game. I think it's a very solid build. I think it's very good. Now for solo shuffle, I do things a little bit different. I run haste verse and solo shuffle. The reason for that is because your mastery loses a lot of value in shuffle because you start at such high dampening and it ramps up faster. Haste, you get a lot of value out of it. So this is the build I run in solo shuffle. You can see there are some different talents here. I think overall these talents are really, really good. I've tried Shailun's Gift out. It's actually better than I thought it was because the buffs are actually solid. If you don't like Shailun's Gift, you can completely drop it and run Misty Peaks. And then you have one point that can go anywhere you want. I don't even know where to put this one point. I put it in like Resplendent Mist. You can even go for a Shailun's Gift if you want it without the buffs. But that's this is what I've been running a solo shuffle. I've hit, what, 2200, almost 2200 in shuffle. So it, it's a pretty solid build. I think Shailun's Gift is better than I thought it was. I think a Legacy of Wisdom that makes it a reduced cast time makes a build or makes Shailun's Gift feel a lot better. Otherwise, it just feels like such an awkward spell. You can get interrupted in many different ways versus a lot of different classes. You can get gripped, you know, CC'd, kicked on. It's really, really annoying. So this is what I'm running. It feels good. If you have a different build for Shuffle, let me know. But overall, this build is, is probably my favorite so far. People thought Fist Weaving was going to die, but I actually don't think Fist Weaving is dead at all. I think it is simply balanced. That's it. I think it's still very good. I still played it. I 6 0 a lobby, and I 5 one a lobby, a lobby uh, playing Fist Weaving. So this is the build I use for Fist Weaving. I think it's very, very good. I don't think there's anything I would change about this build. Um, the one point you can change is T of Serenity again. I like T of Serenity just for the extra chance at a, you know, at an extra enveloping mist. So I kind of like that. You can drop it though. You can kind of put this point wherever you want. You could put it in uh, Spirit of the Crane for extra mana, even though it's been nerfed. Um, that's pretty much it. I know that also some people like Shailun's Gift. So what you could do is you could drop this and go with here. Go to Shadow's Lessons, get Rising Mist here. You still have one extra point, but it depends on what you like. I really, I like the Misty Peaks more than the Shailun's Gift when I'm fist weaving. So I tend to not play it, but there are people that do like it. So whichever way you want is fine. They both work. They both are very, very good options. It just depends on what you want to play. I didn't forget about RBGs as well. This is what I've been running in RBGs. You're gonna want to want to run haste verse. Haste verse is very important in RBGs, and you're just going, you're just going all out. You're going for Invoker's Delight. You're going for Secret Infusion. You're going for as much haste as you can. That way, you get a lot of value out of your Rapid Diffusion, your Dancing Mists, and your Misty Peaks. Uh, the bread and butter is just getting your Renewing Mist out, using your Envelop Mist to get Renewing Mist out, and then getting value from Dancing Mist that gives your Renewing Mist a chance to spread, and your Misty Peaks gives your Renewing Mist a chance to proc Envelop Mist, which is just crazy. So this is what I've been running. There actually aren't many flex points, but there is one other build for RBGs that you're going to want to run, and that is when you're the flag carrier. So or not when you're the, when you are healing the flag carrier. So what you're going to want to do, you obviously want to go revival there is I drop one point in rapid diffusion and I drop many proliferation because you're not going to be in the team fight if you're healing the flag carrier. And I put one point in the mist of life and then one point into common coalescence. That way you have a giant cocoon. I think it's very, very good and very, very important to run this. Most of the time, I think mist weavers will be the uh, healing the FC just because they can keep up with whoever's the tank, whoever the tank is. And I th just think we're overall pretty good at the single target healing. So those two builds I use for RBGs, not much changes from one to another, but you probably still should go common coalescence when you're healing the flag carrier finally this is what i run when i do keystones i think this build hasn't changed too much but i do like shaylin's gift a lot and you do run manatee as well as rapid diffusion there's nothing too much else to highlight here you're fist weaving so you're going to be playing feyline stomp you definitely go chrysalis the short cocoon is really nice no point in going here i don't think and on the left hand side there really isn't much to talk about um as far as flex talents go on the monk side 
you can choose between your slow you you can choose between four brew damp and harm that's really what you want to do um you need to go disable to get to four brew but if you don't want to waste that point you can just go over damp and harm and then you have one point that you can put anywhere you want you could put it in you know generous pour you could put it in bounce back either one works but actually bounce back might actually be a solid choice uh, just because you know it helps you stay alive longer so this is probably what i'd run if you don't want fort brew again it completely depends on you um, on the mistweaver side i don't think i would change too much i don't think there's anything i would change i think this is pretty much what you'll be playing um every single time you do a keystone i think everything is just solid for for mythic plus so that's pretty much it for the mythic plus build and that is it a quick rundown of what i run for everything i do in pvp and pve if you have any questions please let me know i'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have if you have any questions about stats let me know i am more than happy to answer that as well hopefully this was helpful for anyone who might have had questions it, i've just taken a week and a half for since 10.1 to kind of test things out so sorry if it took a little long but that is pretty much it for me hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you later